Welcome back, guys, to CFL Central, CFL content for the fans, by the fans. And we have some interesting news today, uh, courtesy of first learning about the trade on Twitter and then seeing a lot more happen on Twitter. And uh, what 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 is the summary of this trade? Twitter. That is the summary of this trade. Oh, boy. So uh, for context, so Jonathan Kongbo gets traded for a fourth round pick to the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Now, keep in mind, this fourth round pick was the one that Hamilton acquired for Dane Evans. So this is essentially Dane Evans for Jonathan Kongbo. Jonathan Kongbo played two seasons in Winnipeg, got signed by the Lions, and now has been traded to the Tiger Cats. So that's essentially the summary of the trade. I think that this is a good move for the Tiger Cats. I think that Kongbo had two solid seasons in Winnipeg, improved on his second season. He's only 26 years old. There's still a lot of room for that there. I think that the Ticats already have a scary defensive line and defensive systems. And so adding him to the mix gives them a bit of leeway to kind of move things around and change things up as they wish. And I think that they're that he's going to add a lot to the Ticats. Now, with the Lions, at first this didn't really make sense to me as I didn't know why they would trade him as the value doesn't seem there. However, it seems like other reasons were the reason for this trade other than just improving the team. So I'm, I'm going to let Rick, you finally dive into the, the absolute mess. That is what happened on Twitter after this news broke. Okay. So this actually started a few days ago. Okay. Uh, if you remember when Sean Lennon got released by BC lions, Yes, Sean Lemon, yep. Yeah, so Sean Lemon got released. Okay. BC signed Kongbo. So he was like the replacement. Yes. Okay. So then oh, it comes out this morning from TSN reporter Farhan Lalji. It says, I'm told Kongbo was not a fit in the locker room, and it is important for the BC Lions to get back to the chemistry that they had before the trade. This trade eliminates what was going to the Tie Cats for the Evans trade. So, eventually, what had happened was, from with what I gathered, is then he had responded to Farhan saying, "Not a fit," because I called out star players for not showing up to practice and guys not wanting to work out. Culture matters. It's called professional football for a reason. Now. Before that, before we get into the next part, I will I will say that if if, a, if what he said was true, that makes complete sense. As someone who played football in high school, the the guys that earn the, that earn the respect of their coaches and their peers are the guys going and putting in the effort when the effort is optional. If there's an optional practice, the guys that show up, they're gonna they're gonna get more playing time more uh, more likely. Now again. This is only coming from one person, so it, it's kind of like it might be true, it might not. But I'll, I'll let you continue with that, Rick. I just kind of wanted to oh, throw my two cents in. It, it gets better. So then, oh, I'm sure it does. BC Lions Keon Hatcher steps in and wants to put his two cents in, and I quote from Keon Hatcher: "But you quit, very pro of you, my boy, and you seem, or sorry, and you sure seem feelings." Uh, wasn't hurt because you wasn't in rotation like that question mark then Brian Burnham the former retired wide receiver receiver yeah goes bring him back and then he leaves little timbits with lemons on his Twitter on his tweet so now oh my God. Brian Burnham's trying to say let's bring back Sean Lemon yeah but then I was looking if at you're Sean the Lemon, though. Do you accept that? I guess it depends if you're getting calls from other teams. Cause it's like, you guys just dropped me to sign this guy. Like, well, I mean, look, look at last year with a uh, set, a uh, Seth small, we cut him. And then six weeks later, we brought him back. There you go. So, it but look, happen. but, but now looking at the depth chart, you have Jigar Davis and Mason Bennett and you're being talking about limited. The, the, the tie cats. Yeah. Depth chart, yeah. Limited both defensive line. So now if you go to look at the defensive line chart, that now makes sense that they bring Congo in because now if Davis doesn't play, 
he now goes behind Carney on the right defensive end. So he will now need, he'll end up being that depth Canadian. Now I believe we have six defensive end Canadians and we have is that two, four, eight. No, sorry. Eight Canadian defenders, Canadian and uh, seven Americans. So you have that as they as they say like the split that yep the um, for the de- defense defensive line so it just makes our defensive line that much bigger but this is honestly mm-hmm. i kid you not it reminds me of a jerry springer show on twitter <laughs> this is this is this is and i'm sure this won't be the end of it and like i it's just it's so it's funny we cuz we we see trades all the time Yes. Whether that's in the CFL, whether that's in the NHL, whatever sports you watch, you see trades all the time. It is not all the time where you see stuff like this happen afterwards. A lot of times a trade happens and they maybe interview the guy and he's like, hey, I'm excited to be with my new team. It wasn't a fit with the old one. And that's about it. It's not often where the player being traded <laughs> goes on to Twitter and shares his two cents and then... And then his former teammates chip in and you can see exactly the, the issues that BC was talking about. Cause wh- whether, whether Kongbo's right or whether Kongbo's wrong, there, there was tension within that locker room. There's no doubt about that. No, I, I mean, there must've been tension outside the locker room because I mean, Brian Burnham, who's not even on the team anymore is commenting on it, but this is a guy who would have been used to a lot of those guys in that locker room. So either he's like, he, or either he comes up and be like, yep, that's how it was when I was there or he, or he's just like, nah, this guy's full of shit. And so obviously we know what his opinion is. And I'm curious to see if Sean Lemon ends up back with the BC Lions or if another team chips in for him looking at you bombers. Uh, but, um, I, uh, how overall, how are we feeling about this, Rick? This is, this, this is messy. Um, to, be, to be honest with you, just think of kind of on the right hand or left hand side, you have Bennett and Botang. Yep. You have Laurent, or you even throw Win in with Laurent. Then you have Sales. Then you have Davis and Car- Carney and Kongbo. Yep. I'm sorry to say, but that that depth on that offensive line, defensive line. could honestly be the top defensive of the East. Line, you mean? Yeah. Yep. Top of the East. Yeah, no, no, that's that's definitely true, and that that's one where I can even see it. Uh, as much as I love my Bombers D line, uh, I can see it at least rivaling that D line. Um, in this in the sense of where I I don't know if you got quite the the Willie Jefferson and Jackson Jeffcoat on the ends, but your D tackles, I think your D tackle, I think your D tackles beat our D tackles. Uh, although I do love I do love Jake Thomas. Uh, it's that, that fourth spot on the bombers D line that gets shaky, but I'm, I'm getting off topic. We're talking about Hamilton here. So BC now, how, how does this affect the lions? Because with the lions, they, they drop lemon because they think that Kongbo is a better fit. They bring in Kongbo, realize he is everything but a fit. They move on from him. So they, br- so they either, they bring back lemon or they bring a guy up. So, because uh, do you have a BC Lions depth chart pulled up? Uh, well, they don't have the new one out because oh. it's it's still week one. Um, so I do have the roster in front of me. Yep. Um, so you have, wow, they really haven't updated this. Oh, the C- the CFL um, is like the worst ever when it comes to updating stuff. No, no, no. Like, this is updated, but I mean, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve defensive linemen. Hmm. And I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know like defensive linemen all that well. Like, I mean, he must have not had been like a starter or a backup if like i mean if there's that much drama that's being caused in the locker room could you imagine if he was still there come friday well and, and that's the thing it, 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 it's possible that they could have brought him in 
in, in the idea that this is going to be the starter. And then they see some of these problems starting to happen. And so maybe at that point, maybe Keon Hatcher's point, maybe he starts getting a little bit less reps and whatever and stuff like that, because that's, that, that is what happens on a football team. If a guy is misbehaving, if he's still around, he gets a little bit, he gets benched a little bit, whether that's benched in practice in terms of other guys getting reps, whether that's benched in the game. So if Keon Hatcher is accurate with that, and it's not just but, chirping for the, but, for the but shits my, and giggles of it, then the thing is, is that that might have been that that might have been a factor. But my whole thing is, is like, don't. How do I p say this politely? Don't like spread your dirty laundry on social media. Like, keep it behind oh, closed yeah, no. doors. That that definitely was that definitely was not the right move. Uh, I th I think generally, um, it, especially because it's one of those things where if if you're Jonathan Kongbo, it's like now if let let's say you spend your year at the Tie Cats. You, you have a really good year. You're looking for that big pay bump. So let's say the tie cats aren't able to match it. And now mm -hmm. you're looking elsewhere for that pay bump. But our team's going to be hesitant now because now they're like, okay, well, if we have a problem with this guy, he's running to Twitter. You know what I mean? And that's something that teams just want to stay away from. So it's one of those things where I, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how that, how that pays out. But I, 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 this this will this will be interesting to see how this develops as I don't think we're gonna have quite the end of it here. Uh, I can't wait till Hamilton plays BC now. Um, but I, I think that's that's all I have. Is there anything else that you got there, Rick, on this? No, that's all I have. Oh yeah, th that's all you got, and that's all we have. What, let me know what you guys think of this mess of a situation down in the comment section below. Uh, and uh, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, sh share this video around, and su subscribe if you haven't already. Good God, I can't talk. And uh, we will see you guys next time.